Uh oh. What happened here? Here we go. Hello, Mr. Chandler. Good afternoon. Jay, I can't hear you. Can you hear me, Chan? Yes, I can, Greg. I can't hear Jay. No, I think he's got a technical end. John and Lori, can you hear us? here just fine as long as I take myself off mute um, it, it doesn't look like Jay is on mute no it's a, I think it's a technical issue with zoom uh oh I've been at several of these meetings and sometimes it just doesn't work so well but I'd like to say thank you for both of you to attend the, uh, the meeting this afternoon I like to meet people in person Unfortunately, because of the days we're in, we can't do that, but uh, thank you for taking the time to join us. I appreciate it. Well, I'm really happy to be here and glad to see my name on the agenda and um, looking forward to this meeting. Can you hear us, Crystal? She can, we can't hear Jay. I had a conversation with Crystal. She was sitting right there where Jay is, and it was where everything was working fine. Now I had a meeting gone. last night where the screen kept freezing up. It was almost impossible to get through the meeting because the host kept getting locked up. It's too big. Sometimes I found that if I'm doing Zoom meetings, I have to have both. Um, I have to have the visual by computer or the reverse. Um, with um, audio by phone, putting one on mute. And it's a little bit inefficient, but it sometimes will work. So if you can't get both in one, the other can be an option. Jay is unusually quiet today. It's not like him. <laughs> Hello, this is Crystal. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Anybody else hear her? Yes. I can hear you, Crystal. How about now? There you go. Yeah. I seriously... Uh, Diane and, and uh, Greg and Chan, I apologize. Uh, we're stuck with Zoom, but it, every time, everything I touch turns to uh, uh, bad karma. <laughs> Again, my apologies. Welcome to all of you. Um, we had King Midas 
you folks may be familiar with, everything he touched turned to gold. And then there was um, there was that person uh, with the fecal touch. <laughs> and I leave you with that. Anyway, gentlemen, <laughs> um, could I get someone to approve the minutes uh, of the December 17th meeting? So moved. Thank Sorry. you. Do I hear a second? Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, now, see, because of all this, John Chimkowski may not even want to play anymore, but we're going to try. Right. I'd like you to consider the appointment of John as a full member of the Water Pollution Control Authority for the term January 21st through June 19th, 2023. And if, you, uh, gentlemen, did you receive copies of his application? Yes. Oh, good. Then I won't go through it. So I'll entertain a motion. So moved. So moved. All right. Thank you. So it's unanimous. John, welcome. And thank, and you. thank you very much. Um, I looked over your application. Uh, you, uh, you know, have a lot to offer, and, and I'm very appreciative for you willing to step up. Um, okay, gentlemen, I'd like you to consider the appointment of Laurie Barefoot as a full member of the Conservation Commission for the term January 21st, 2021 through March 31st, 2025. So, so moved. And second, okay, unanimous. Um, Lori, again, thank you for joining us. Um, it's especially uh, appreciated since you're willing to continue to serve given the technical problems that I have all the time, <laughs> but welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks to both of you. Woodstock survives because of volunteers. Uh, it's what makes most of our boards and commissions operate, and we really appreciate you taking time out of your personal lives to help us out. I am very happy to um, to have this opportunity. Good. Thank you. Welcome, welcome aboard. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is Cynthia Mortimer with us? I am. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Um, I would like to, I'm glad you're with us. Um, I would like, <laughs> gentlemen, if you would consider the appointment of Cynthia as an alternative member of the Conservation Commission for the term June 21st, 2021 through March 31st, 2022. So moved. I have a question. I hear a second. I have a question. Ah, uh, yes. Please. Can I do that before the yeah, second? Go ahead. Okay. No, no. You said you had a question. Yeah, um, Cynthia. In your on your application, you state that you have an interest in local conservation, hunting, fishing, hiking, etc., and preservation of and access to the same. I have a question about hunting on public land. Okay. Excuse well, excuse me, Greg. Yes, sir. What does this have to do? with wanting to serve on a board or commission what i don't understand what a question about hunting on public land has to do with that she stated that that she believes in her interest is in conservation and and in, and in, i thought it said and like allowing the, the word allowing is not there but it says hunting fishing and hiking i assume on public land no, it says an interest in local conservation, hunting, fishing, hiking, etc. And the reason it says that is conservation includes hunting, fishing, and hiking. In fact, the biggest conservationists in this country are hunters and fishermen. So again, it said preservation and access to same. So she wants to preserve local conservation, preserve hunting, preserve fishing and hiking, and having access to hunting, fishing, and hiking. Is that, Cynthia, basically what you had expressed? Absolutely. It is the conservation of our lands, our public lands, for any and all recreation, really, to make sure that these lands are preserved and kept safe um, and, right. and, and just kept kept in the nature they're supposed to be. Greg, does that 
answer whatever question you had? I, I suppose it kind of clarifies some things, but I still, I still have a question that I'm not aware. I'm not a hunter, but I, I, I know what you mean about, about, you know, the thousands and thousands of what acres of land and, you know, other states where, where hunting is allowed on fed, public land, federal land, state land. Um, and I was not aware that we allow hunting on public land in Woodstock. So given, that, given, that there's so, given that there's so many homes that are close to those places and you know, I just think that think of that from a safety perspective. That's all. Can I ask Where, what your question what? does pertain to conservation of those lands? Well, it, 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 you can. It, it, and, How and does your question about whether or not hunting is allowed on public lands pertain to conservation? You said it does. It's in your. Those are my the, interests uh, as to why I believe that conservation is important. But your question is whether or not hunting is allowed on public land. I don't know how that is a relevant question. Wow. Uh, Greg, ball's in your court. Well, I, I don't have, I don't, I'm not, I, I wish I could get a better explanation of that. I, I don't know. Do, is, is hunting permitted on public land? And if you want yes. to preserve, you want to preserve that right or that that opportunity, um, it, 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 you know it has it's publicly said. I, are you familiar with the uh, Thompson Dam? Greg, you're muted. Did you mute him? Greg, unmute yourself. There. Okay, is that it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, are you familiar with Thompson Dam? Yes. Run by the Corps of Engineers? Yes. That's public land. It's also stocked by the state. It's also used for hunting. So I don't I don't understand what your issue is. And the other thing is, um, Cynthia has expressed she wants to serve on the Conservation Commission in town. Her interests also are issues around hunting, fishing, hiking, and preservation and access to that same. So I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm very confused. I, I'll tell you what. So am I. I it just, oh, you're confused. I know. I'm confused. You're confused. Can I get a second on appointment to the Conservation Commission? Or are you in agreement? Agreement to what? To appoint her? To it? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, let Let's make that unanimous. Um, Greg, we can discuss this at some point because, um, I, and I don't want to belabor this because um, because I shouldn't. Uh, John's John's background, by the way, um, is he's he's retired from the state DEP. Um, was with them for a number of years. My background, which you may not be aware of, is I'm a senior instructor for the Wildlife Division of the State DEP in wildlife conservation and um, um, safe shooting and this sort of thing. So if you have issues around hunting on private land, we would certainly be happy to discuss this, but not at um, on, on public land, but not at you know board of selectmen's meeting. Because I'm I'm just very confused about where this came up. It's it, it's. It, I'm just reading it from Cynthia's application to to join the commission, to be appointed to the commission, and that's that's an interest in those fields and and. I just was wondering if if that means that, you know, I, I just think that I wonder about about that and in, in you know in our in our state forests, I guess that means public land. 
the May I make one time, the, next, the next time you're in, um, I will leave a copy of state laws out so you can see what public lands are in Connecticut, where hunting is allowed, and that sort of thing. Just, just kind of bring you up to speed on what's happening. Okay, thank you. Do you have any Do you have any concerns about her being a casualty claim adjuster? That's also on her application. Why would I have that? I don't know, because I'm not sure why you had it about her interest in hiking, fishing, or hunting. It wasn't about hiking or fishing. It was particularly about hunting. That's all it was. And I, I did. I understand. I said, what, I said to you, I was not aware that hunting was was encouraged or allowed on on public land in, in in this area that's all next time you're in next time you're in please remind me and i'll leave a copy of the game laws for the state of connecticut out to you you could look at a whole bunch of maps and a whole bunch of lists of places where hunting is allowed okay we can get back to the uh, agenda uh gentlemen i'd like you to approve tax rebates um Number one is for a double declared inventory of personal property for the Farm Credit Leasing Services Corporation, the amount of $5,920.68. Would anybody care to move on that? I'll make a motion that we approve both of the tax rebates as listed in the agenda. All right, second. That's fine because at number two, you've got the figures and the names of the folks. Okay, correspondence. Um, the only thing I have is I've got a letter of thanks. It came to me, but it was actually directed at uh, Anthony and folks on the uh, Recreation Commission. And it's a thank you for continued support um, on behalf of the staff at Roseland Park for our donation. Um, the Rec Commission had made a donation there. Uh, they also have been very kind to us. We had a tree lighting ceremony this year down there. Um, and they just said that, you know, as you know, we're operated solely on funds generated from venue rentals and the generation of donors uh, like you. Uh, and I've already spoken to Anthony about this and he's aware of it. Uh, that's the only correspondence I have. I have uh, no announcements other than any of you that are interested. The uh, conservation laws for the state of Connecticut are available here at the town hall. And I believe they're on display in the lobby as you come in. Um, that's it. I guess now on the agenda, we're up to public comments. Does anybody, uh, Diane or... Any of the newly appointed folks have any comments? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Yes, sir, John. Um, thank you very much for appointing me to the Water Pollution Control Authority. I've been on a number of boards and commissions and study groups and things like that over my, uh, out, of, out of the uh, time that I've spent in Woodstock since 1977, so. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for me to get back into the flow of some of the things that the town of Woodstock's involved with. And I hope that I can uh, offer the experience that I've had in my years in environmental protection, which go back to 1974. Thank you for your willingness to serve. And I'll tell you, I mentioned uh, you to Stu Morris when he stopped by today. He was very happy to have you back. <laughs> yeah, Stu, Stu and I were on planning together back in the uh, 1980s. Right, that's what he mentioned that. Okay, um, you, John. nothing from public comments? Okay, I hesitate, but I'm looking at the agenda. Any other from committee? I'm all set. Okay. I have one, one thing to, to point out to you guys. Um, back in the minutes that we, that we just approved, um, Number 12, and I agree with you, Chandler. You, you pointed out in that, that meeting that you had, while you were judging the Christmas light display, you had difficulty locating home because of addresses and all that. I mentioned, I want you to both know and, and, and the community should know. And I appreciate that I saw last 
last week in the shopper's guide that that I assume that the first selectman's office ran ran the ad reminding people that they that is required to have um, at home identification. And I suggested to Anthony that since it is an ordinance requiring everybody to have it, if you go forward with this kind of a community activity again that calls requires people to come to your house and see what, what's going on, um, ju judging or whatever, that you have to have a, 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 the signs that we sell or a reasonable facsimile of that um, that identifies your house number and you must have that in order to be entering the contest. That's pretty simple. And that would, you know, would go probably go a long way towards getting people into compliance with that ordinance. So we can think about that the next time one of these events comes up, I guess, but I just, why not, why not require people to be in compliance with an ordinance? If, 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 if that ordinance is, if that if that compliance means that you can see their house, then good God, it's certainly important for public safety, their own safety, so that the you know emergency people can find their house. Greg, uh, thank you for the public service announcement. How many houses or families took part in the contest? Do you remember? Thirty-one. Okay, and how many did not have numbers? Several. We no, had, it was or we one. had a lot of time. We had a lot of spent a lot of time trying to find these places. Well, <laughs> that wasn't the problem with the numbers. Perhaps it was the problem in trying to find the places. By the way, the ad in the shoppers guide, that's an annual ad. It wasn't because of comments that came out of the um uh, you know, this contest for the decorations, but that's an annual ad that we run every year. Okay. Anything else from uh Go ahead. No. Anything else from no. Greg? No. No. Oh, okay. No, no. I, I'm sorry. Where I'm sitting, it lights up when you speak. And so I thought you were going to add. Okay. Anything else from public? Diane or um, I thought I saw Don in here at some point. Okay. All right. Um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So adjourn. So move. Second. Okay. Unanimous. Thank you all for joining us. And for the new folks, welcome and my thanks to you all. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Take care, everyone.